Traffic Light Controller using AT89C51 Microcontroller. So myself, I'm I, Madhumita, studying in Tyaharaja Engineering College, Madurai, Mechatronics Department. So here's a, a small mini project in microcontroller. Let's see into it. So introduction. So first, what uh, what is the necessary for a traffic light system? Because it it is very very efficient in nowadays because we can easily control the traffic using them. So the traffic light system is one of the fascinating applications of embedded systems and have been using stay same till this day. So four traffic light system using embedded systems which was a bit complex in nature but as if we consider the traffic flow in our four different directions providing appropriate timings to each of the lights this system uses 8051 that is 889C51 and LEDs for indication and the LEDs which use users lights was connected to microcontroller by means of common anode configuration so and who is was the first who invented the first traffic lights is P9 in London's house the two in the year of 1868 so this uh, we can look further into it so three LEDs everyone knows it red yellow green so red um, of course you know it red is indicates this to stop the vehicle you have to shut down the vehicle for no cost and yellow yeah you can uh, stop but it you have to prepare to stop yellow means it's a uh, slightly uh, indicate that it's going to be soon red and green of course you can go you can go and start the vehicle so what are the components we need for this project so what are the hardware requirements and the software requirements in hardware we have we should have 88 18 c5 microcontroller capacitor a resistor a crystal oscillator a led light red green blue i mean sorry it's not blue it's yellow and pcb a circuit board and a power supply and the software requirements we need is Kale Mu Vision software and Proteus software. You should be uh, familiar with the software. So, uh, this block diagram and circuit diagram is the traffic uh, control, uh, light control system using uh, 8051. It's based on that. So the pins of the various input output ports of the microcontroller are connected directly to the given LEDs. The 051 is programmed in a manner that the respective LEDs glow by setting the required bit using assembly language and a certain amount of delay is provided depending on the user. So this uh, microcontroller is very popular and used in industries also in such as uh, temperature control also this use. Um, in this product project, uh, the 8051 lab trainer kit is proposed to smooth the progress of learning and developing designs of MCU from Intel and X NXP. So it is the facility to connect PCs or not one and not four keyboard to user programs in assembly languages. Serial communication achieved using 8051. It also supports C and assembly language in standard in kit. It is designed as to facilitate board programming for NXP 8051 MCU through ISP on serial port. So the pin of the various input output ports of the microcontroller are connected directly to the given LEDs. The 8051 is programmed in a manner that the respective LEDs glow by setting the required bit using assembly language and a certain amount of delay is provided depending on the user. So, uh, as a result of this, the traffic only moves from north, east, south, and vice versa. So, that is the working I have 
said in the previous slide, the pins of the various input output ports of the microcontroller are connected directly to the given LEDs. And it is programmed in a method that respective LEDs glow. Um, this is the point I have told in the last slide. So what is the social relevance? It's very effective way of optimizing traffic. Yeah, day to day, day -to -day uh, traffic is very irritating and uh, we can't be very sure. So in it can it is uh, now uh, applicable in a uh, many developed country metropolitan cities. So that would be uh, that will reduce the traffic jams. So also help an emergency vehicle to reach the time to the destination so that they can reach the time patience it will reduce their normal recurring and it will improve public transport service so reduce the emergency response times and safer travel so traffic congestion is a serious, pro serious problem despite costly effort to create an integrated method of traffic control system the number of private automobiles used mainly by people with middle class for income has increased faster than any form of transformation transportation in India and this has increased the demand of expansion of roads, parking space and improved automatic traffic light system. So, um, at, um, so this pros, project is cost effective. The implementation of this project in present day will effectively solve the traffic congestion which is severe problem in many modern cities all over the world so this automatic traffic control system is based on a very effective way of optimizing traffic and this works to control traffic on four way roads according to traffic control barricades which is functioned by ICs so this proposed system will able able to build a developed country with less traffic jams and we would also have the emergency vehicle route each time. The intelligent system will help us to control traffic in more autonomous way. So in practice, presently in India, we are following time-based control on traffic signals and we are experiencing heavy traffic jams all over which in turn consumes a lot of time and fuel. We hope this method will be adopted as soon as possible so that the limitations we are experiencing with the present method can be overcome. So this system gives highest priority to emergency vehicle to pass them. So um, that's it, the, the social relevance. So um, as I mentioned before, there is the camp components of this project. So and they cost. So this is um, likely a very cost. So some or PSP and power supply varies the cost. Not sure. So I have put in that uh, hyphen. So for code of this project, I have mentioned this link. You can go through the link and uh, get the information of this code. And for a circuit also, I have mentioned this link. You can directly go through the link and uh, get this uh, circuit. So uh, I have I have already uh, run this program. First, we have to uh, create a new project and uh, get ready this program I have already done this program okay uh, first we have to build target so here it shows in the down there is no uh, error and no warnings uh, so that's it so uh, before we are going getting into the proteos we have to create an expire in there so the so that we can get any error in that so I have already done this circuit and kept it ready. So this is the before stimulation. The circuit looks like this. Okay, this is uh, 889C51. You can also look closer.
okay so um, these are the four traffic lights so i'm going to explain the interfacing of traffic light controller by using this arrow controller you can see traffic light in any metropolitan cities we can we may call it a signal also so there are four ways in diff traffic controller there is uh, the north west east south traffic control signals for each way it represents each signal for it uh, if it's green means it indi green indicates traffic to proceed yellow prepare to stop and red indicates prohibits uh, traffic to proceed so we going to energize these signals alternatively if green signal is enabled in the west all the north east south make it as a right make it as a right and at the same procedure will followed by north it's the first challenge and the next challenge is after completion of some count we need to transit green to yellow and we need some small time for that had to happen um and there will be some gap between the transition from yellow to red or red to green or green to yellow um so that will be programmed by some small delay or call it as a super delay also so here the pins are assigned in a four different ways okay and so the pins uh, north means uh, wait i have to zoom in north means a uh, uh, d t9 no that's not t9 it's like uh, each pin indicates like each pin indicates the red yellow green leds in the north and south and west whatever it is and here it is uh, this is the re uh, uh, zero resistant for port zero so it allows the traffic from west to east and east to west for t1 second okay and that will be some delay and then we have to wait for t2 second and then it allows traffic from north to south and south to north from t1 second and again that will be an delay and then we have to wait for t2 second so this is going to repeat and that's it so these are the time guys so that's it guys thank you